name is Anne Solist and I'm a painter working primarily in hard pastel and oil paint. Uh, my artwork tends to have a lot of nature themes, so I paint a lot of animals, a fair number of plants, and it also tends to be a little bit whimsical, so I'll at times incorporate uh, certain fanciful kind of themes, um, a little bit of surrealism as well. I have been teaching at Artistry for about four years, and I teach at a few other locations in the Twin Cities. Sharing my love and my uh, what my experience uh, in art with my students has really been one of the most fulfilling aspects of my career as a freelance artist. Today's exercise is about exploring negative space. So let's uh, start off with the definition. Negative space is the space around and between the subject or subjects of an image. So for an example, I have this drawing right here, and you can see we have a bunch of different uh, little flower buds, we have a stem, we have some, diff some leaves down here, lots of elements with names, but then we also have areas on here that are between those, you know, those areas with names. These sections, these different spaces, are negative space. So we have positive space, which is the stem, and the flowers, and the leaves, and then we have the negative space. So chairs are a really great example of negative space. You see we have the positive space, we have legs, we have the back, we have rungs, but then we also have negative space, which are these sort of nameless kind of shapes that exist between the subject of your image. There's another chair down here, and a chair is actually what we are going to be drawing today. I'm going to be drawing this one. So negative space, being able to look at negative space and understand what it is, is actually a really good way for you to um, check your work, to make sure that not only are you know the rungs the right length and everything, but they're they're positioned exactly where they should be. So being able to think about both negative and positive space allows you to construct an image more like a puzzle than like just separate pieces, right? So I, I can see, you know, what the shape of this puzzle piece is and how it relates, relates to the shape of this puzzle piece so that everything can really neatly fit together. It can really tighten up your work. So let's get started. Materials. You, of course, will need a piece of paper. Uh, this, it really doesn't matter. You can basically use whatever kind of paper you want. Uh, you will, of course, need a chair, either a physical chair or a picture of a chair. Um, and then you're going to need some kind of drawing material. So I'm actually going to be using charcoal today. You can definitely use pencil. Charcoal's just my preference in everything. I just really like it, so I, that's why I'm using charcoal. But of course a pencil is going to work just fine. Um, I will say it's going to be helpful to do something that is erasable. Um, so you will need an eraser and some kind of erasable medium, so probably not pen. This is the last time for a while we're going to be thinking about this object as a chair. We're not thinking about it as a chair anymore. It is little spaces and shapes. We are only focused on, we are only concerned about the negative space. The chair needs to melt away. When I start, I like to choose a section that's towards the middle of your image. So I'm gonna be starting with this, this little shape right in here. Really focus on getting all those angles right. So our first shape is in place. Now all we have to do is choose an adjacent shape and move on. So I'm going to be doing this shape right in here next. Again, we're not thinking about the chair. I am not drawing a chair. I cannot stress that enough. This is a very abstract exercise and it uh, may take a little bit of practice. And that's okay. That's, that's what these exercises are meant to do. They're meant to be about practice. All right, and I just, I continue in this way. So I finished that shape, now I can move on to another one. I'm going to start with this big shape here now. So how far over is that shape from the one next to it? About this far over. Think about what angle are these lines coming from.
right, so I have gotten in all of my little shapes pretty much where I want them to be. So at this point, we, we can kind of start to see this as a chair again because we're going to put, fill in the outline to kind of finish it all up. And I, what I'm actually doing right now is kind of flipping back and forth between thinking of positive and negative space. So I, I, I sort of need both, and that's that happens in most drawing. You're, you kind of need to understand both positive and negative space. And there you have it, a chair. A chair that came from not drawing a chair. So the last thing I think what you can do, if you would like, is to fill in all of these, uh, this negative space as well as a, you know a portion of the space around around the chair. And I have I have one little piece of extra credit for you if you would like. After you've finished your negative space drawing, go ahead and try drawing the chair in positive space, or drawing you know the chair itself, and just see how it feels. See what what you think of the difference between those two perspectives. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.